Hey everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. We're going to do a little cooking today. My son-in-law, Vaughn, just was graduating from uh, college and I'm um, pretty, pretty tickled about that. And he asked me if I would do up a couple of my smoked turkeys for <laughs> smoked and injected turkeys for his graduate. He's going to take it to school and share it with everybody. Let me tell you a little bit about this recipe. My dad passed away last year, but my dad has been making this recipe ever since I was a kid in high school. You know the old charcoal grills that had the old motors and rah, 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 went around and around? Well, he would inject them, and I'm going to show you this. Don't buy that injective stuff you get in the store with oil, all kinds of garbage in it. You don't know what's in it. Make this yourself. I'm going to tell you what. People will come pounding on your door that want to taste this. Uh, I've been making this for years. It's incredible, okay? But what we're going to do is, first of all, you want to do is go get a decent syringe. I personally don't like the ones with the blunt end and the two holes on the needle part. I want a thin needle with a sharp end. So when I stick it in and inject, the juices don't cut. The other one is a blunt, makes way too big a hole, and the juices come running back up. Go to your flea farm. And go to the part where they have, uh, you know, stuff for horses and all that, and they got syringes. I buy this one. I really like it. It's tough. Doesn't hold as much as other ones. Too long, but it doesn't take long to do this. And then I get these sharp needles. You can get these needles that screw on, and they stick good. And this is held up and held up. Put a little oil on the rubber grommet, and it's just a little vegetable oil, and it just goes back and forth slick. And these work great. But the key to this is injecting it. And what are we going to inject? Well, here's what we do. We put a cup of water in here, a cup of lemon juice. We put in about a tablespoon or a little more of garlic juice. Don't try garlic powder. Don't Go down and get yourself some garlic juice, okay? And then we're going to put in some kosher sea salt uh, or pickling salt. Just don't use the regular iodine because you're using salt. You don't want to do that, okay? Use piquin, kosher salt, uh, any table salt that does not have iodine in okay. And, of course, we got to have a stick of butter, too. So I'll write all the ingredients down underneath the video, and you can follow it, okay? But what we want to do is we want to just mix this all together and about 20, 25 dashes of your favorite hot sauce for the pepper. Because we got the salt, we got the pepper, the lemon juice, the garlic, and the salt, okay? And the butter. What we want to do is we want to put this all together and mix it up. Barely, just heat it up enough on the stove so that it uh, will melt. And then you're going to want to stir this constantly. We'll have, it really helps if you have somebody who can help you because they can stir it back and forth so the butter doesn't all just rise to the top and you get an even mix. Once you've got everything mixed up, you want to inject it in the thighs, in the breast. And, and I'll come back. I'm going to get this mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm just finishing up the last of this. The butter's just about melted, one little piece. But we used to make this, me and my dad, we, we ran a couple bars, had some bars. And, and if you don't have a smoker, still do this. I'll tell you what we used to do. We used to inject it with this, and then we'd throw it in a Hamilton Beach roaster. And then at halftime during the football games, we'd throw a couple loaves of bread out. And they tear into that turkey and make tur hot turkey sandwiches. Oh, man, I'm telling you. You can do this in the oven. You, it's just the enhanced, the butter, the water, the lemon juice, the garlic juice, the, the salt, the, uh, the Tabasco or whatever uh, hot sauce you like. It infuses that flavor through this whole turkey like nothing, nothing you've ever tasted. Uh, like I said, make it yourself. Don't buy that junk stuff that comes in bottles that says inject. It's so commercially made, and you don't know what's in it. This, you know what's in it. Another thing, when you get this turkey, take your turkey, thaw it out completely, take out the gizzards and all that. You can do it. Uh, if you want, you know, you can flip, you can always tuck your wings back there if you want. I leave it out at least till I'm done, because I'm going to inject there and there and there and there and there and all over. And we're going to bring it over here. I'm going to show you a little bit. See how the butter goes to the top? This is where you want to see. I want somebody to... Uh, I'm going to have to stop it for a minute so I can do this and suck a thing full. And I'm going to show you how to inject this. Be right back. 
Okay, guys, here's what you want to do. It's best if you do one side at a time, the thigh, the leg, the wing, the breast. That way you don't mess up and forget where you go. And I always start, well, you can start, but let's just say the wing here. Right in this meaty part, I'm going to stick it, stick it in there. Watch this baby puff up. See? Ooh, all that goodness in there. Yeah. And now I'm going to get another one, and I'm going to stick it here and here. We are going to use all this in the turkey, every drop of it, until it does. If you even have something that run out, pick it back up, suck it up. Try to get as much as you can, and, and stitch all the way down here, every little bit in this. And here, just go right in here and go, and the thigh, and the leg, and, and you can even flip it over and, and do the back. So I'm going to finish injecting this, okay? I'll be back. Okay, now I'm over on the other side. Just watch this goodness going in that thigh, leg and thigh here. Ooh, yeah. Like I said, until you had one of these turkeys, you ain't ate a smoked turkey like this. It is unreal. I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back. Okay, one turkey down, injected, and one to go. And we're mixing up another little batch here. I got it all. My cup of water, a cup of lemon juice. And no, the turkey don't taste like lemon. What the lemon does is it tenderizes it, but there is no lemon flavor. A nice, clean, garlicky, buttery flavor throughout the turkey. That's what makes it killer. Stick of butter. I used about a tablespoon and a half of liquid garlic. You can try a tablespoon and then taste it. Taste the liquid, think what's a little too strong for you. I like a good garlic, not overpowering, but a good garlic flavor. And the butter, and then, uh, like I said, 20, 25 shakes of your favorite hot sauce. No, that's not going to make it hot. That little bit diluted over there. It just, it makes up because there's no pepper in it. So, uh, so let's run over the ingredients one more time. Cup of water, cup of lemon juice, tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of liquid garlic. And then a stick of butter and a quarter cup of non-iodized salt. And about 20, 25 shots of your favorite hot sauce. Do this just till it melts. Everything's mixed. The salt's mixed in. The butter's melted. Just take it off. And while it's still just a little warm, inject that baby all over that turkey till it won't hold another drop. Any of that comes out. Pour back into the pan and warm up a little and you stick it back in again. Refuse to let that turkey get away without being fully macerated with this stuff. It is totally awesome. Now, you're going to put the turkey in the oven. Or so. You could rub this uh, with some olive oil or what I've really got hooked on lately is grapeseed oil. Oh my gosh, talk about a clean taste. Uh, rub it down and then put it in your oven at three and a quarter either in your oven or Hamilton Beach Roaster or some, somewhere. I'm going to put this in a smoker, but we're not going to go that high because we want the smoke. If we start it started at real high, then the smoke would not penetrate the turkey, okay? So we're going to start it at about 200, maybe 180, slowly bring it up, and then I'll end up about 253 on the inside until your thigh reads 180, okay? One thing you could do if you want to cheat a little bit, you could put a little liquid smoke in here. You could do that if you wanted. Although I'm telling you, they're still fantastic without it. So I'm going to get this injected. Then I took my racks that are going to go in my smoker. And uh, I took a little olive oil and rubbed it on the paper towel and put that so it don't stick to here. So the next, when I come back, I will have these in the smoker getting ready to fire up. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, folks, we have got the turkeys in the smoker. You know, I get a lot of people asking me about what kind of smoker you use, Larry. This is an old side-by-side -side freezer, or refrigerator, I don't know which whatever it was, that I got in the junkyard for $5. Put a smokestack on it with a damper. The bottom, I, store all, I tore out the compressor. I put a cold plate down there, and I have a, I'll show you, it's all insulated, it's stainless steel, this baby. And there's a pipe that comes up from the bottom so I can cold smoke, like when I do bacon or cheese or anything. And I got, I put some, I screwed these in the side so I got racks. I got some water and there's my turkey. And see that smoke coming in? 
Well, that is a smoke daddy that I got from my sweet little brother down in Nashville, Tennessee. Bless his little pea pecking heart. I just love this thing, smoke daddy, cold smoker, cold smoker hot. Here's what I love about it. Before, when I cold smoke, that's fine if you're going to do fish and stuff that's cured. But if I'm going to do fresh turkeys like this, you got to get in that range. You can't. You should be above 140 degrees when you're sm smoking because you're in the danger zone otherwise. Okay. So, what? What? Before, when I put wood chips on this, then I'm just doing something to get it started. I would sp fire this baby up. My wood chips to get it to smoke, I'd have to turn it up. Well, then it would get so hot in here. This way, I can just barely turn it up. I want to start at 180. I don't care about that because all the smoke I want is coming from that smoke daddy. See that baby really starting to kick out now? It'll run for hours. On one fill, I got some pellets, 40 pounds of pellets, which I think was 25 bucks, of a master's blend. It's got oak, hickory, uh, uh, alder, maple. Oh, good stuff. I went down to the dollar store, got a couple trays, filled that with water to keep the moisture in of it. I've also drilled a little hole, and I have a little temperature gauge right in there. So you can see it's not, uh, not a warm day in Minnesota today. It's 50 degrees. But, and one thing you want to get, I, I'll go out and get when I stick in there. Get one of those external probe thermometers. When I come back, you'll see it installed. I forgot to grab it. You stick it in the thigh. When it gets to 180, you know it's done. It saves you from having to come out and poke your turkey to death like a pen cushion, for crying out loud. You set it up there, and you can see what the internal temperature is. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste this good smoke, and I'm going to fire this up and get her going. Get the temperature about 180 in the cabinet, and we'll be back. Look at that baby smoke. That smoke daddy is kicking some major butt. You're wondering what the crutches are for? Well, I need to change my seals. See, they're kind of wearing out down there. So it helps keep it a little tighter, but still, there's much room. Let's see, I'm going to show you. I'm slowly bringing it up. It's only about 150 degrees in there. See that? 150 degrees. I'll bring up about 180 for about an hour. Then 190 for another half hour. And then 195. And slowly bring it up because you don't want to cook the outside of the turkey <coughs> excuse me, so fast that it seals off from the smoke, allowing the smoke in. As long as you're over that 140 degree threshold, you're safe, okay? So if you can mail, if I can stay like 180, I'll try to stay around 160, 170, 180 for the first couple of hours because I really want to pour the smoke to it. What works good too is if you, if you don't have a combination of wood, if you're using hickory, mix apple with it, wood with it 50 50. Because if you do smoke just pure hickory and you smoke too much, you'll get a bitter taste. But if you mix the apple with it, it smooths it out. I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's been a few hours. <coughs> I'm getting a little dark here. I got two probes. Okay, there's an external one there. The internal temperature is 123. On that one, and this one's reading 139. Let's take a look at those birds, okay? Look how beautiful they are. Oh my God, gorgeous. Look at that, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. So we're going to let them go till they see they're stuck in the thigh. I got the probe in there. Once that reaches 170. Five, 180 will be co pretty close. But look how beautiful that's. It got water pans in there doing. That burned up, but man, look at that smoke, Daddy, just rolling. Holy mackerel. Looking good. We're just going to let them finish up now. Looking absolutely beautiful. We'll be back. All right, the turkeys are done. Got them done here. A little big one and a little one. But uh, they are going to be good. I just wanted to show you the finished product. And I'll put the recipe down below. And you got to try this. Some killer stuff. Injected smoked turkey. Been doing it for years. Really good stuff. This is Larry up in Brainerd. Ciao.